forward to 2021 and the hope that by Easter, the effects of the new vaccines will mean that things are a little bit more normal. But at this time, we want to give you our greetings and a message for Christmas. Christmas is about Christ sharing human life. God comes to be with us, to live with us, because God loves us. And that brings hope. Hope in times of darkness. Hope in times of sickness. Hope in times of despair. As we look to the future, what is your hope? My hope uh, is, or uh, are, uh, we st do as we're told and we keep safe. And even if this Christmas doesn't happen, it'll be here next year. And I hope it will all be back to normal by then. I hope, uh, my hope is to, for things to get back to normal and to s celebrate as we used to before COVID. Peace in the world. And being kind to one another. I hope that all the good things that have come around because of this awful virus can carry on working in communities, perhaps in communities that haven't known they're a community in the past, but have got together and helped whoever and wherever. I really hope that when this is easier for everyone, they will just will remember because it's, it's brought out, this has been said so many times, that it first brought out qualities in people perhaps they didn't know they had and I love that. So my hope for the future is that for my granddaughters and future generations that there will be real work done on climate change. My hope for the future is that we develop a vaccine, everybody is vaccinated and we can just get back to normal life, albeit with a more neighbourly spirit than before. My hope for the future is just a small one. I would like for everyone to be able to do the little things they enjoy, which makes them happy. Meeting people for coffee, lunch or at church, doing a little shopping or getting out and about with friends. The ever hope of worldwide peace. I think we all hope for that. We're not going to get it. Um, and that people are just nice to each other and we all live happy and comfortably. I think my hope is getting back worshipping and getting all back together, just being able to meet with one another, actually meet up with family again, who we've not seen for quite a long time. So it's just the, the getting together and, and hoping that we can uh, do that quite soon. I'd like to see a continuation of what we've developed through this crisis. Um, I find human spirits a, a wonderful thing. The fact that so many people have actually come together and pulled together as one unit instead of an individual, I think that's something that really could well do with being taken forward into the future. Well, my hope for the future is that COVID-19 disappears as quickly as possible and that all the vaccines really work and that everyone gets back to being able to give each other a hug. I think that's a big thing in the future. Get back to normal. Yes, these really are difficult times. Would you like to send a message to a loved one? To my dear husband, my late husband, Fred. At the moment, we face very difficult times. And, and I've always been a chap who enjoyed a hug from a loved one. And I think that will be uh, greatly missed this Christmas. But it's a message of love and support and courage and hope that we will work through this and come out the other end, hopefully stronger than we are at present. You're thought of many, many times and will never be forgotten. 
I'd like to say I hope that my sister in London, Hilary, who is also on her own, has a very happy Christmas and keeps safe. My message would be one of thanks to my family, friends and the community. Thank you for the, thank you for the phone calls, texts and WhatsApp messages. Thank you for the food, be it cakes and jams dropped on the doorstep. I send my love to Robert. I don't know what I've done without him. It's been a real blessing to me. I would like to say to my late father, who was my inspiration growing up and my rock, that I think he would be content to know the life we live here in Northumberland. I would have to be Marina. Um, she's been the biggest part of my life for over 35 years. Um, and to be fair, I think if we hadn't been together through this period in time, it might have been a lot tougher than it has been. I'll send my love to all my family who I'm not going to be seeing this Christmas. Um, probably we're not going to be seeing them while Easter. So I'll send my love to them. Also, my sister, who, who we cared for, who died in September, she had dementia. So it's going to be the first Christmas without her, which we'll miss her, but uh, we know she's safe in God's arms. She's just been a, vi a big part of our lives and we've looked after her for five years. And, uh, she'd been a part of this church. She moved here when we came here. And she was involved with everything, like the Christmas dinners last year. She was there doing the vegetables over in the hostel. And so it's, um, yeah, I'm just going to really, really miss her. But, yeah, I loved her. There have been very many difficult Christmases in the last 2,000 years. But the human spirit and the love of God has conquered those difficulties. And that will be true for us this year and for every year. That in difficult times, the love of God will speak to us all.